The name Kadisha, it's a Syriac term, it means holy, so it's a, basically the holy valley. In that valley you have all the monastic heritage of Lebanon. When you go into a hermitage or the monastery of Marlisha, you see the typical setting of a hermit or a monastic life. You see the cave, you see the chapel, you see the stairs that connects the two levels, you see the rocks and the rock wall. You get the feeling when you're inside that you've left the world. It's the experience of Jesus in the tomb. So a lot of the monks that would go into caves to be like Jesus when he entered into the tomb, the cave setting is a reminder that we are between both states of life as Maronites and of course as uh, pilgrims in this world that we're dead to the world but we're looking for the resurrection and that happens only through the experience of Jesus in the tomb and that's part of the spirituality of the Maronite church. برشربل اخترق كل القلوب كل الالوان كل الطوائف كل الكنائس كل الاديان فيوصل على حقيقه واحده انه الهنا اله حي محبه واشعاع لكل البشر فاصبح عالم مارشربل لبنان وصار لبنان لكل الدنيا رساله من خلال شربل القديس We cannot say that San Shabbat is just for the Maronite Church or just for the Catholic Church. San Shabbat is the saint today for all the world, for all the religions. Because he is near God, he can put us near God.